Hey, what's up? Today I am really, really confused. I had gone to a restaurant where international food items were served. I came across a delicious mouth-watering dish. I, the picture was so tempting in the menu. I wanted to order it. But, but, but that spelling is so confusing. It's spelled like this. Q U E S E D I L L A. I really didn't know how to pronounce it. Is it quesadilla? 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 Finally, without knowing how to pronounce, I felt too embarrassed to order it and I didn't ordered that dish and came out eating something which is something very common. Do you face such situations in your life like you want to order something but not knowing its pronunciation and feeling too embarrassed to order you just keep quiet and eat something and come out of the restaurant? It happened with me so many times so I decided I'm going to learn the pronunciation of all these, uh, not all these, but many of the popular international dishes. So that in case we go abroad and you want to order it, you shouldn't feel embarrassed. So get ready. Welcome back to my channel NK Academy Learn English with Nandini. I know many students are going to USA to join their universities so especially this video is for those people who are going to USA for the first time here are 20 international dishes and their correct pronunciation probably some of you pronounce them correctly but majority of the people they will not be able to because the spellings are so very tricky okay let's get started Today's lesson is going to be very, 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 very delicious because I'm going to discuss all the popular international. One correction, not all, but 20 popular international dishes. So don't blame me if your mouth starts watering. Come on, let's begin. So here today I'm going to discuss the pronunciation of some Mexican dishes, Italian dishes and some of the common food items which probably we were pronouncing them wrong. Are you ready? Yes. So get ready to taste some Mexican dishes. The first dish is which is my favorite that is churros. How do you pronounce it? Churros. 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 Churros are a popular Mexican dessert that is quite popular in the USA. Pay attention to the pronunciation of D E S S E R T that is dessert. Dessert. Dessert is sweet dish. It is not dessert, Sahara dessert. No, not that. It is dessert. Alright? So the first Mexican dish we learnt is churros churros say it with me churros churros okay let's move on to the second dish and that is look at the spelling t o r t i l l a do you pronounce it as tortilla mm, no it's not tortilla but here the l sound is silent so how do we pronounce it Tortilla. 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 L sound is silent. Okay. Let's know what is tortilla. Tortilla is a thin, circular, unleavened flat bread. Now, ask me what is unleavened? Unleavened is without yeast. Without using yeast, if you are making a flat bread, that is tortilla. And this is originally made from coarsely ground corn flour. F L O U R. It's not flour, it is flour. Flour. 
so it's made from corn flour right and it's pronounced as tortilla say it with me tortilla tortilla okay let's move on to the third dish yeah now this word which troubled me is here it spells q u e s e d i l l a now you can guess the last l sound will be silent because it's similar to the sound which is in tortilla so how do we pronounce it quesadilla quesadilla k s d a quesadilla quesadilla say it with me k s d a quesadilla okay now what is it it's a mexican dish consisting of a thin dough or tortilla that is filled primarily with cheese and sometimes meat spices and other fillings and then cooked on a griddle or stove that is quesadilla they are very very yummy try it out okay so next one which is the most common mexican dish in usa b u r r i t o now how do you pronounce it burrito 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 say it with me burrito burrito is a mexican dish in which the tortilla is filled with different kinds of fillings maybe red beans chicken little bit of rice cheese and so many other sauces so many other dips and uh, then that tortilla is wrapped around it and you can just hold it and enjoy it it's for to go like even when you're traveling you can just hold it in your hand and eat it and this was the first dish which i tasted when i went to usa i tell you i warn you it's going to be too big so if you eat that one burrito i think the whole day you will never feel hungry so till now we have learned the pronunciation of churros tortilla quesadilla burrito okay now let's move on to the next one and that is look at the spelling e n c h i l a d a s e n c h i l a d a s now how do you pronounce it mm the even this is too tricky uh, let's pronounce enchiladas 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 okay so now what's enchilada it's a corn tortilla rolled around a filling and covered with a savory sauce now just remember burrito even that's a wrap that's a wrap like it's a, a the filling is wrapped in a tortilla but that tortilla is made from wheat flour but in enchiladas the wrap is made up of tortilla which is made from corn that's a difference second difference is burrito you can just hold it in your hand eat it and just walk away or you can drive your car away but enchilada it is covered with some savory sauce so you have to eat it delicately with your knife and fork okay that's the difference so quesadilla enchilada burrito okay now the next international dish next mexican dish we are going to discuss is t a m a l e and how do we pronounce it tamale t ma li tamale t ma li say it with me tamale okay now what's tamale it's a corn based dough steamed in corn sheet it's steamed it's a steamed dip good for dieters it's steamed in corn sheet or banana leaf too sometimes in banana leaf and that sheet either can be removed and thrown or it can be used as a plate so it's a steamed food and how do you pronounce it tamale say it with me tamale 
okay so now next one next mexican famous food and that is look at the spelling g u a c o m o l e how do we pronounce it guacamole 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 how do we pronounce it say it with me guacamole 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 and what's it it's a very famous dish and it's i believe me it's very very tasty and healthy too and it's made from avocado and you can add different things like uh, chopped tomatoes chopped onion a little bit of lemon juice a little bit of pepper and you get the tasty guacamole which you can eat with anything or you can just eat it you will enjoy eating guacamole so these are some of the mexican dishes now let's taste some italian dishes the first italian dish is a starter look at the spelling b r u s c h e t t a the first time when i saw the name of this dish i pronounced it as bruschetta but it's wrong you have to pronounce it as bruschetta how do you pronounce it bruschetta 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 so say it with me bruschetta now what's it bruschetta consists of grilled bread wrapped with garlic and olive oil and salt variations of toppings can be added like tomatoes vegetables beans meat or cheese they are generally they are used as starters so try this bruschetta as a starter next italian dish is very very tricky the pronunciation is too difficult but let's learn it now look at the spelling b o l o g n e s e okay so how do we pronounce it bolognese 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 say it with me bolognese and what's it it's a sauce which is meat based and it's used very often in all the italian cuisine so what's it bolognese nays the end sound is z bolon bolognese right now the most tricky one is the next one g n o c c h i gnocchi gnocchi i don't know how to pronounce it okay now let's learn how do you pronounce it it's gnocchi how do you pronounce it it's gnocchi gnocchi okay say it with me gnocchi 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 okay now what is gnocchi um gnocchi are a varied family of dumplings in italian cuisine they are made of small lumps of dough composed of semolina ordinary wheat flour egg cheese potato bread crumbs corn meal or some similar kind of ingredients i never tasted it but probably this must be very tasty and how do you pronounce it it's gnocchi okay gnocchi okay now the next one next one is l a s a g m a when i looked at this dish for the first time i pronounced it lasagna you know the spellings are so misleading but it's preserve it's not lasagna it is lasagna what is it lasagna it's very tasty i tasted it and i made it also so it's lasagna lasagna it's a italian dish made of 
tagged layers of pasta flat pasta and other fillings the filling can be of vegetable filling or it can be chicken filling or it can be some other meat filling or fish filling too so that is lasagna lasagna z sound lasagna okay once say it with me lasagna okay so these are the italian dishes we have learned what are they bruschetta bruschetta bolognese bolognese gnocchi gnocchi and lasagna all right let's see some french dishes too so shall we go to france okay now let's see the french dishes mm, this is the most confusing spelling and what's it r a t a t o u i l l e it's scary tricky too why should spellings and pronunciation don't match i always wonder but anyway we have to learn the correct pronunciation so let's try and that is r t c h u i r a t a t u i r a t a t u i how do you pronounce it r a t a t u i so the l sound is again silent and we pronounce it r a t a t u i r a t a t u i r a t a t u i okay say it with me r a t a t u i yeah and then it's a french dish of stewed vegetables it's a stewed dish so we had seen steamed dish and we have also seen stewed dish okay now the next one c o g n a c okay the easiest thing would have been to pronounce it cognac no no it's not cognac but it is cognac what's it cognac cognac right cognac and what's it it's a type of brandy okay so ratatouille and cognac the next one c r o i s s a n t how do you pronounce it croissant and this is a bit easy right croissant it's a buttery flaky pastry it's of austrian origin but now it's often related to france so it's a french dish it's croissant now next one m o u s s e it's not mouse it's not remember it's not pronounced as mouse but it's pronounced as mousse mousse okay how is it pronounced say it with me mousse and what's mousse it's a soft prepared food that incorporates air bubbles to give it a light and airy texture so what's it mousse okay right now let's see the pronunciation of some other common foods probably which we were pronouncing them wrong i said probably probably you all are pres are pronouncing it correctly but some people might be pronouncing it wrong so let's check it s a l m o n very common fish we should not pronounce it as salmon again l is silent it's salmon how do you pronounce it salmon sa men salmon okay next one it's a cheese very yummy cheese and that is p a r m e s a n i would have pronounced it as parmesan parmesan no it's not parmesan it's parmesan how should you pronounce it parmesan 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 cheese say it with me parmesan okay yeah next one which has become very common in most of the houses right m a y o n a i s e and many of us pronounce it as mayonnaise but it's not mayonnaise but it is mayonnaise may you nice mayonnaise okay so next time when your mom applies this one on your on the bread you tell that mom this is mayonnaise mayonnaise okay mayonnaise right it's not mayonnaise it is mayonnaise right now 
the next one is yeah this food is very common with the with those people who want to eat healthy healthy food and that is q u i n o a first time when i saw this i pronounced it quinoa but it's not quinoa it's quinoa 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 okay quinoa okay now the last one it is c r o u t o n it's not croton but it is croton croton okay so these were all 20 international food items we discussed their pronunciation i hope you learn them if you have not learned watch this video again because i know most of you students you all are going to usa to join the fall term and definitely when you are away from the house when you got all the freedom you would definitely visit some restaurant and when you come across these dishes you be happy that you know the pronunciation of all these dishes okay so all the best anyway so that's all for the video today it was definitely a delicious video yes isn't it okay so see you in the next video but before we wind up hit the like button i'm sure you liked it if you are visiting my channel for the first time subscribe to my channel so that you get many more interesting and useful and informative videos and share the video with your friends because when you share you grow okay bye bye see you soon